like the base of voters for the Americans, okay? Let's say you have like the the center suburban whites, okay? Actually, I fucked that up. Let's do that again. Here is the here is a very large percentage here, okay? Like the MAGA crowd, okay? These guys are crazy, okay? These guys are insane. There's like election deniers in here. There's like a bunch of fucking people in here that are completely batshit, okay? They're like demon hunters, okay? Demon slayer types in here. You have, uh, you know, uh, the Christian nationalists in here. You have Nazis. You have all sorts of psychos in here. Now, this is a big eclectic group, okay? It's a big group. They're all unified by their love for Donald Trump. <coughs> <coughs> then you have some reliable voters that also happen to be in the MAGA crowd a little bit, okay? that also like Donald Trump or don't think Donald Trump is offensive or whatever the fuck, okay? Who are also simultaneously like, you know, suburban voters, the suburb whites, okay? They're, they're wealthier. They are, uh, but they're also like, they fancy themselves to be more intellectual than the MAGA crowd, like the, the you know, the bulk of the MAGA crowd. Republicans had a unique way of captivating both of these guys because they ran against Hillary Clinton with Donald Trump. Okay? They were able to captivate the, the psychotic demon slayers and the suburban moms because they were able to feed the media narratives. They also had, the, the Democrats had like a really shitty fucking, um, the, the Democrats put a shitty candidate against them that everybody hated. You know what I mean? But what basically, you mean the actually educated Republicans who base their politics off of fiscal conservatism initially? Eh, kind of. Okay? Now, the problem is, in order to win in the primaries, you need these guys. Okay? In order to win a fucking primary, you need the most resilient base of support, which is like the evangelical demon hunter psychos. Okay? In order to win in the general, though, you also need these votes. And these two have somewhat conflicting values. Now this, either you need to make these guys be more sane, okay? Either you need to make the MAGA crowd be more sane, which is not going to happen because they're insane, or you need to make the suburban voters more insane. Otherwise, the Republican Party will face this contradiction over and over again. Okay, the contradiction that is they can't run on actual policies. They have to run on wedge issues. The MAGA crowd loves the wedge issues, but the suburbians think the wedge issues go too far. Okay, wedge issues are, uh, you know, ones that they haven't already exhausted because you can't really do the gun thing. Nobody thinks that like guns are really under attack or anything like that unless they're completely psychotic. You know what I mean? And even some of the suburban moms would probably consider the gun thing to be like a little too far anyway. Here, here is a wedge issue. Guns. Okay. Um, you can't really hammer that on. Abortion, you've already cooked. You've already exhausted. Okay. This is a fetus. You've already exhausted it. Now, the only way that people talk about abortions is when they're talking about like a 12-year-old rape victim not being able to get an abortion. You know what I mean? So you cook that one, okay? Why weren't you saying all this Monday? What do you mean? I did. I talked about this. I've been talking about abortion being a fucking uh, lost cause for the Republicans for the past... Four years, five years. What are you talking about? I talked about how abortion took Republicans way too fucking far and they lost their carrot and the stick when they decided to completely uh, destroy Roe v. Wade.
Anyway. So what kind of wedgie shoes remain? Demon hunting. And gay shit. Okay? Gay, pedo, uh, you know, gender crazy stuff. Okay? Gay, gender uh, madness. Now, here's the thing. There's a lot of gay people out there. Oh, and then there's, there's CRT. The thing is, there's a lot of gay people out there. They're open. They're out and about. So you can't go, like, super far to the, to the gay shit. Like, you can't do the gender sicko conversation over and over again. In order to, like, shit on gay people, you have to, uh, in order to shit on the LGBT people consistently, you have to say that they're all gender sickos and they're peeing in litter boxes and they're also trying to do uh, pedophilia. But when you talk about that, oh, borders too, I forgot. Yeah, borders, immigration. Okay? So when you're trying to use the gay gender panic, the gay gender madness shit over and over again, you are really eliminating some of these people because some of their fucking kids are gay. They got gay ass kids. Okay, so that's number one. They also have children who want to have abortions. They like abortions. Okay? They're fans. They're fans of abortions. They at least want the option. They also kind of find it to be icky when you're constantly talking about trans people doing pedophilia. So that's the reason why at the heart of like the wedge issues, when you exhaust some of the more overarching ones, and when you actually put the full throttle on, uh, when you put the fucking gas pedal on the, on the abortion ones, the only uh, issues that remain are ones that are going to be things that they don't want to really think about. Okay? And that's why it, at the heart of this like uh, Republican strategy is this inherently self-defeating circumstance.